Hello. In this video, I will continue to work with Retouch For Me Heal plugin in Photoshop. This time the task will be more difficult. I have such series of photographs where we have seen a lot of skin defects. Let's see how Retouch For Me Heal can handle it. Let's start with this photo. I will be making copies of the original layers to make it easier to show before and after images. I'm going to go Filters menu and launch Retouch For Me Heal. Here's what happened. Here's before. Here is after retouching. I click Apply. Let's take a closer look now in Photoshop. Here's before. Here's after. The plugin have coped with the lion's share of imperfections on the face. What remains is to clean up a little with a healing brush. I'll do it on a separate layer. Here's what I've retouched. This is how the original image looks, and this is the final result. Let's move on to the next image. If you have a lot of photos, you can set up batch processing in Photoshop. I have a separate video about batch retouching in Photoshop using Retouch For Me Heal plugin. I click Apply. Here's what happened. Here's before, and here's after. The skin has become much smoother. The original texture of the skin was preserved. There are some areas that are knocked out, I'm going to fix them. It will not take much time. Here's what I did. Here's the source image, and this is the end result. Retouching looks very natural. I'll move on to the next photo. Retouch For Me Heal does an excellent job with small defects, but if some large area on the face does not have the original texture, there is nowhere to copy it from. This is exactly the case here, so I will manually copy the texture with a healing brush. Here's my edit layer. And here's before photo, and here's after. It would take me 10 minutes at best to process this manually, but it's not a fact that I would do it well. Most likely, I would have missed something. Let's see the whole image view. The plugin also removed the speck on the hand. Let's move on to the next photo. I will correct some areas on the face with a healing brush. Here's what happened. Please note that the skin is not washed out or replaced with an artificial texture. This is very important for me. Let's process the last photo. Here's what happened. I will go through it with the healing brush. If I retouched manually, then I would spend a lot of time on all these photos. In this case, despite the problematic skin of the model, I only retouched some areas manually, and it almost didn't take up much of my time. Here's before. Here is after. Of course, you can use other plugins for retouching, but the naturalness of the skin will be lost, and this is the main thing for me. That's all. I hope this video was useful to you. Bye, everyone.